And we're broadcasting live from Hard Crash Micro Hard, Washington, home of the loudest and most caffeinated strung out stadium in the league. So grab your Vente double shot, non fat, skinny chai iced tea lattes, and try not to let your ears bleed as we get ready for kickoff. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing, because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pot pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The way the quarterback said they blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. You can't keep a good mutant down. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that is weird time. Fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. What is this, Annie's wrestling? And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Third and four. That's the way to 
can't keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. He's got a good chiropractor. Second down and six. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier is saying, well done! Bang, baby, bang! And he breaks through for a touchdown! Listen to this crowd! Yeah. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third and four. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Straight through the uprights. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. I won't even have it.
there's no reason to go. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Eight. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one. Eight. Oh, he just got crushed. Third and four. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot three. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, with a punishing hit! And it's first and ten. Gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And the defense is on his heels. He's at the 20. Oh, so close, but not today. And it's first and 10. Hot. Hot one, hot two, eight. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin rampant on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. 
for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. There might not be an eye in team, but this guy's eyeballs are all over the other team's helmets right now. <laughs> oh, man. And it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Hot one. Hot. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Look. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? First offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play.
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I want Lisa to his blast for me. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball. And that's how you run the football. First down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First down at six. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out. That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second down and four. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, throw in the half. Can you pick me up a soil and beer? And they're taking the field for the second half, and we have got a tie score. Uh, speaking of tie, Grim, me and Hot Wanda, we wanted to try something different, so we tied each other up the other night, and nothing happened because we were both tied up. I don't understand what the big deal is. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. This guy's a brick shithouse. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down in inches. Boom! And it's first and ten. 
That's it. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shack tapper for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel and got blown across the room into the deer antlers. Second and three. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. him to a four-yard pickup there. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. right in someone's face. This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. Second down and ten. for five yards. <laughs> Second down and five. A pickup of about three on that play. Third and two. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. And this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. And that 
it's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I almost wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. Yeah, I right, right, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. And this is a first and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Second down in a mile. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and forever. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. for a 10-yard gain. Third down and nine. The defense better look out. 
the offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Just getting schooled out there. And it's first and ten. And he laterals the ball. Great run for a nine yard gain. Bring up second and one. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Brain Scrambler! And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust! In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it. He had it for a second there. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. First down. Man, this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. Second down, and he often says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah. <laughs> this will be 
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And they went to the air and came up big. They're down and 10. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and 10. And they take their last timeout. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! I like this. They're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. Now, this reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh, yeah. After the mayhem ball, that club six feet under. Yeah. My wife could smell the bone marrow on me when I got home. Big trouble. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on MFL Game Day. Uh, MFL. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, with a brutal hit. That's right, folks. It's all tied up, and we are headed to overtime. I don't know how many players are left alive, but the rest are headed to sudden death. They should call this game Mutant Death League. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Here comes the kickoff. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That was equal parts great run and bad defense. Third down and six. Receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. 
Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see if he beats the odds. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and 10. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Second down and more than the QB would like. way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third and four. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points. The Mutilators mutilated the opposition today and walk away with a win. It was a brutal battle of attrition. But they come away with a three-point win and are celebrating on the field. Yeah, and giving the rep a few bucks didn't hurt their cause either. Well, it hurt my cause. I had a sawbuck on this fucking game. The game's most valuable player is about to speak. Brim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it.